Hello everyone, today we're going to take a look at Azure AD Join and Azure AD Registration. This is so you can connect your on-site laptops and desktops into the cloud, including the people who are working from home and still maintain control of those devices and push policies to them. I hope you enjoyed the demo, so let's get straight into it. Let's begin here in the Azure Active Directory Admin Center before we start to do any Azure AD joins or AD registrations of devices in the environment. So a couple of things I might want to do to start with is just add some configuration options. If I drop here into devices and we drop into device settings, we have a couple of things that we might want to actually point out here. Like for example, users may join devices to Azure Active Directory. This is currently set to all, but I could say select individual users or individual groups if I wanted to. Notice that by default here, also the maximum number of devices per user is set to 50. We can drop this down to maybe 20 devices if we want to, which is set to recommended. We can also go to unlimited, so people can join as many devices as they want to the system. I'm going to leave this turned off, require multi-factor authentication, but I do want that on in the real world. I'm only leaving it turned off just for the demo and making it for an easy demo for you guys to check out. So another element I want to look at here is the device administrators. So dropping down to this option down here, manage additional local administrators on all Azure AD joined devices, I'm going to click an assignment here. And this is going to assign somebody called Alan just to this account. Now what this device administrator section is going to do is it will actually take Alan and actually add him as a local admin on all Windows 10 or Windows 11 joined devices here. So now we've done the little bit of setup, we can actually start to connect a device into Azure Active Directory. I'm going to switch over to a client computer that runs Windows 11 and I'm just going to log into it. Now within here, there's a number of different ways I could get to hit get to the location I need, but I'm going to drop into settings. I'm going to drop in to make sure that I'm in the admin account here. I don't need to be in the admin account. And I'm going to click this button, access work or school account, because even though Microsoft call this Azure AD join and Azure AD registration, the option you click is access work or school account. Um, I don't know why either. They could quite happily put Azure AD join down here. So I'm going to connect him and I can choose any email address I want from my existing environment that has the ability to join people to the domain or not people, join devices to the domain. Notice there's a couple of options down here. Join this device to Active Directory, join this device to a local domain, or this set up a work or school account. This option here is the device registration. This option down here is Azure AD join. There's a very big difference between those two. Remember with device registration, you can only actually do some control over this device, but not have complete control over it. What we want to do is we want to join this device to Active Directory. Now this is going to provide Azure AD with control of this device or administration of this device. So I'm going to use Joni's account here to log in. And I'm going to use that account to join this device to Azure Active Directory. Very quick and straightforward. Device is all set. Can click done on that one. We don't actually have to reboot here, but if I go and log out, of the device. I could update and restart if I wanted to, but I don't have to. I can just log out of the device here. And now I'm logged out, I can go to other user and I can actually sign in with my work or school account. So I could sign in with Joni here from my test environment and just log straight into the machine. Now our device is logged in. We can see that if I go and click on Joni, we are signed in with Joni's account here that exists in Azure AD. If we launch PowerShell, or even the command prompt would have done for this, we can also run a special command here to prove that this is joined to Azure AD. We can run this dsreg command and see the status. We can see that our device is joined and is user AD joined as well. Wonderful. If I drop back, if I drop back to my server here, I can go into devices. 
and into all devices and I should be able to see my SEA WS1 computer has an owner of Joni Sherman and is currently connected to Azure Active Directory. We can see the device IDs and the object IDs and any groups that this is currently a member of. We also have the ability to disable this device from here if we want to stop people actually logging into it. Another element for what we might want to do here is not just an Azure AD join, we might want to do an Azure AD device registration. Because even though this device is currently connected into the environment, inside all devices, this is now Azure AD join, so we can modify this device if we want to and start to push things and settings to it. If we want just a device registration, it looks a little bit different to that. So what we can do is we can come into this device settings page and we just have to remember that users may register their devices with Azure AD. This needs to be set to all. Mine's currently grayed out at the moment because it is set to all by default. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop back over to a, another computer. So I'm currently on another machine here and I'm going to go and pop into the settings same location we used for Azure AD join and I'm going to go into admin here and I'm going to go into access work or school account. I'm also going to connect this but instead of choosing that first option of Azure Active Directory join I'm going to enter the email address directly in here to set up a work or school account. I click next on here and we'll pop in Joni's password again. I could have used the administrator account for this. I could have used any of the other accounts that I have in Azure Active Directory at the moment. So this is currently registering the device with your company and applying any policies from the company to this device. Okay, that's all set, it's completed. We can go and double check this by seeing that this is actually connected to a work or school account. We could run that same DNS reg account as well if we wanted to, to see if it's connected. I drop back to the administration server here and I go back to devices and I go and click back on devices here. We should be able to see with all devices, we have two devices now. We have a WS01 and oh sorry, a WS1 and a WS2. And we can see that one of those devices is Azure AD joined and the other is Azure AD registered, both owned by Joni Sherman. And that kind of completes a quick demonstration of Azure Active Directory join and Azure Active Directory registration. Join me next time for more information on this when we might discuss things like Azure AD hybrid join. And you know the routine, hashtag like and subscribe and I hope you enjoyed this video and will join me next time. Goodbye.